Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 25th to the 31st of October 2021. So I hope you're well. Can't believe we're at the end of October already Capricorn. Where has the time gone? <laughs> Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. Capricorn, the card that's fallen out is denial, failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles or addictions. I mean, this could be you, this could be somebody around you, someone close to you, so we'll see what that is about. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Message for Capricorn for the week, please. We'll pull an overarching energy Capricorn, then three cards, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, as we always do. Message for Capricorn, please. Message for Capricorn for the week. Thank you. So we have Eight of Cups. So we have the Fool in the challenge position. Sometimes new beginnings carving out a new path for yourself. We have the Page of Cups or no, it's the Knight of Cups, Page, Knave of Cups. Here's the Page of Cups. I have to think for a moment then. Page of Cups, and we have the Devil, which is you, Capricorn. So let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Capricorn, please. Message for Capricorn, please. Message for Capricorn. Clarify the cards on the table for the week. Thank you. We have the Four of Swords. The Moon. The Devil we have with the Hierophant. And we have the Hermit. Okay, Capricorn. Eight of Cups is where somebody needs to listen to their heart and also their intuition. What is it telling you? Where is it leading you? Certainly in this situation, there's something to do with... It feels, for some of you, you're either needing to emotionally move on from something or walk away again it might well be for some of you your intuition is telling you to walk away because the eight of cups generally walks towards the nine of cups the wish coming true the heart's desire where somebody can be really completely fulfilled on every level and be really satisfied with the eight of cups it's less than that it is an energy of something's not quite living up to a dream something's not quite living up to expectation and therefore there's an energy of maybe needing to walk away to go in search of something better and that's what the energy is here with this denial being here failure to accept a situation unhealthy cycles or addictions and we do have the devil here which is your card I mean the devil is the card of Capricorn but certainly in these energies the devil energy can be that unhealthy cycle and it can be that addiction energy I mean, Cap I mean, I will say Capricorn, if somebody, it might well be that you want somewhere to go, you want someone to go somewhere in order to get better. This, this can be a card of walking away, but it can also be an energy of, of you need to go somewhere. I 
I don't feel someone is, it feels more like the energy. Clarify this Eight of Cups. Clarify this Eight of Cups. I feel someone's agreeing to go somewhere. But they're not, they're not accepting that, oh, maybe with this denial though, you're having issues in terms of making them realise that they need to go somewhere and get help. Clarify this Eight of Cups, please. Knight of Cups. Some kind of offer of love. Three of Swords. Pain, emotional pain, heartbreak. It just feels someone's offering, there's some, something is causing you hurt. Now, again, this could be in terms of a relationship, but this can also be in, in an energy of something keeps hurting somebody and then they keep on coming back and, uh, and apologizing for it and say they're going to make make amends and everything's going to be okay but certainly in this energy capricorn it's like you need to go and get something you need to go and face something that you're not prepared to face right now the denial energy there's either an energy here of, of some kind of issue that somebody has that is affecting a relationship or even a marriage it feels like a long-term relationship or a marriage here and there's an energy of someone's wanting to make something right they're offering some kind of uh, an apology they're offering love because they've caused pain in a situation but i'm getting this energy of not being prepared to go and deal with something. The Four of Swords can be an energy of removing yourself from a situation of conflict in some way, to give something some thought, to have some time out, to get clarity, and it can be linked to some kind of major new beginning. How do I move forward? Do I go carve out my own path? Do I go and open a new door and walk away from this? And somebody's saying that. So again, it can be either within a relationship or it can be something affecting the relationship, like some, some kind of behavior or addiction in some way. The Page of Cups can be a message of love in some way, Capricorn. But the Moon energy is an energy of there's uncertainty and doubt. And I feel that is the energy of somebody wanting to offer love, somebody wanting to um, make up for the pain and the hurt they've caused in some way. But this moon energy is an energy of doubt. I also feel in this energy, there's a, there, it feels like there's a lack of trust. I don't trust what you say. It feels because somebody's had maybe experience in this and they're thinking, whatever you're saying on the surface here, there's more to this below. And it's almost like unless you deal with the fundamental situation that is affecting this relationship and change happens, someone's considering new pastures. The Hierophant is an energy of Committed relationships or marriage can sometimes also be an energy of asking a holy person or a spiritual person for advice in some way. So it might well be for some of you, you're seeking advice from somebody who will only give you pure, uh, pure truth, pure advice, honest advice, reliable advice in some way. 
the hermit is an energy of healing, finding answers from within, introspection, really in order to how you take action in your external environment. We have your card, Capricorn, the devil. The devil is an energy of... It, it can be an energy of unhealthy cycles, unhealthy patterns of behaviour. For example, addiction, uh, codependency. I mean, addiction can be you know, drugs, alcohol, um, gambling, I mean, call it what you will, it has an array of things with the devil energy. And it feels something is just, there is an opportunity here, somebody is offering, somebody who has caused pain, I think, is coming back trying to make something right. But there's this feeling of denial that they're not facing the issue or they've not dealt with the issue. And again, this healing energy with the hermit is somebody who needs to be willing to shine the light within and to shine that spotlight on an area of their life that they need to understand and take action on. So it feels whatever this is. I mean, it could be some kind of unhealthy pattern of behaviour, Capricorn, that you're dealing with with somebody. There is this feeling, but I'm getting in this energy. If it's to do with some kind of addiction that somebody needs to go and get help for, there's certainly an energy here of, of you need to face up to this. You need to shine the light within and face up with this. If, we're, if we're, we have a future here, because you can offer this, but I don't trust it right now. Uh, and there's certainly an energy of I'm considering, you know, going in a different, different direction. So somebody might be considering walking away, embracing new possibilities, because they don't want to go around the houses again with this person, with the same results that they're already getting so the devil tempts us with what what we want the most and certainly there's love here which is always the difficult thing but i feel somebody is at their point now where they're giving somebody an ultimatum you either deal with this or you move on and again if this is to do with a, an unhealthy pattern of behavior in whatever way this is that has affected your relationship or marriage in some way in order to bring healing to this you're being told, I'm either going to, I'm going to walk away or there has to be some fundamental change. And you have to, again, there's certainly an energy here of, of you have to deal with, you have to change, you know, the pattern of behaviour has to change in some way. It might well be somebody's already decided to walk away as well. because there's uncertainty now about the future. Yeah, let's see what other advice we get. What do we get? One more message for Capricorn, please. Any other advice for Capricorn? Any other advice for Capricorn? Four of Cups, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands can be Incoming, in, incoming communication. I mean, it can also be about forward movement. Let's move on from this. Let's 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 move forward. And we have this with the Four of Cups. There is an energy here of someone offering something. It might all be someone's offering to go on holiday to get away from it all. Let's just get away from it all. Let's go on holiday. Let's go do this. And it might well be, I'm definitely seeing in this situation, whatever this, this offer is, someone isn't sure about it. Four of Cups energy, I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no, but I'm, I'm not 110% happy. And someone needs to think about this some more, which is exactly what that Four of Swords is saying. It, it feels Capricorn, someone might be Page of Cups, you know, Knight of Cups, there's this energy of somebody offering something, a message, an offer, and it's to do with the love. Again, the devil tempting you because there's love in this relationship, but it feels someone's not happy. And there's certainly an energy here of, 
either something has to change and we really find some kind of solution in how we actually change the situation where I continue to keep on getting hurt or I'm going in a different direction. So that's what I have for you Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn please. Like I said it's not for everybody these readings. And it is whether somebody is going to face that, you know, the, the, the denial energy, certainly in terms of unhealthy cycles or addictions, is, is someone prepared to face up to something and deal with it? Because that's where somebody's seeing a chance here. But I feel there's certainly an energy of, of right now, someone's thinking about going in a new direction. Unless there's significant change. We have shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. We do have the celebration energy here, which is a nice energy. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out, dance and play. An invitation could be on its way. I mean, this can be also this... This energy Capricorn, it might well be for someone saying, let's go out, let's have fun, let's party, you know. You know, it might well be this kind of offer that's coming in that's linked to these kind of things. But I feel somebody's looking at the fundamental issue and asking someone to face up to a reality here. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.